checks. Because remember, so far with Zell, banks have been so desperate to compete against Venmo on volume that they would do anything to get you over there. They remove all friction to get you to use Zell in the hopes that you switch away from Venmo. Now, if they have a better, more secure solution that works very well, adding an extra button, adding an extra, are you sure you want to send it to this person? Can you check the amount? These kind of things. I don't think it's no longer going to kneecap them versus what was happening where they're trying to compete against Venmo. Yeah. And Zell does have an interstitial anytime, at least with Chase. I mean, I use it a lot for business, and anytime I try to use it, there's an interstitial there talking through like six different types of scams saying that if someone told you to send money this way, uh, then you should probably that's why. You know, yeah. pause. Yeah. And that's good friction there. You know, I used to say Zelle is fine. It's no worse on the radio show people would have. Because there were, as another finance radio host who used to rail against Zelle, probably for reasons of his own, but uh, people would say, well, you shouldn't, you shouldn't use Zelle. I said, well, if you, it's no different than Venmo or PayPal or, frankly, an ATM machine. If you take money out of an ATM machine because somebody walked up to you and said, oh, liable for that why should the bank be liable for that so i'm not sure i really understand why people think the bank should be liable for a, a sell transaction but i'm glad that they are at least kind of warning people that don't fall for this and don't fall for that it's uh, yeah i think it's a, it's a good reminder especially large banks in terms of having this stuff built in because again their financial incentives are definitely away from allowing too much fraud or too many scams happening where people lose right. their trust because they don't want to lose your trust on Zelle and then you don't want to get a mortgage with them. So I think what happened is uh, when credit card companies came along, everybody was afraid to use them. So the credit card companies, in order to get you to use credit cards, said, well, don't worry, if there's a fraudulent transaction, we'll, we'll back, you, back it up, we'll give you your money back. And they had to do that to get people to use plastic. Uh, but that's just because they didn't have a choice. I mean, uh, financial institutions don't. So we got, in other words, we got a false sense of security thanks to credit cards. Um, yeah, it's a lot easier to back up any purchase when you're charging 18% interest. Yeah, they can afford to, exactly. All right, well anyway, watch for Fed now coming to a bank near you or not. I bet my bank net. So this is why I'm growing up Zell, because I think the banks have already put so much investment uh, into getting Excel up and running that they don't want to do Fed now. They're, they're, like, I think oh. they're, they're ready to move past Zell. Are they? Yeah, I hope so. Move past Zell. I hope you're right. I hope you're right. Is it the name of Zell? Like, what makes Zell so unattractive? I don't know. The name, it's the 